For most of you watching this video, you're trying to decide which way to go. Do you go M4 Max on the Max Studio or do you go to the M3 Ultra? And I'll be honest, a lot of you should actually go for this, which is the base model Mac Mini with the base M4 chip. This little hamburger of a computer is very powerful for what you pay. And so bang for buck, I think this is still probably the best buy right now in 2025. Now, if you wanna step up from there, the next best buy in, in terms of computing power will be this, the M4 Max Mac Studio. Apple finally updated the Mac Studio from the M2 Max chip to give us the M4 Max chip. And that is a pretty big leap considering it jumped over the M3. It's interesting to see the leaps and bounds that the M4 chip has given us from the M3. So I thought it was very interesting that Apple decided to also give us an M3 Ultra. Before we get into this, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Clean My Mac. Introducing the all-in-one Mac care solution designed to keep your Mac running like new every day. It's like having six of the greatest superheroes on your side. Smart Care anticipates your Mac's needs, offering effortless automatic maintenance to ensure peak performance without ever getting in the way. It's proactive care so your Mac always feels fast, clean, and secure. Cleanup helps you reclaim valuable space, identifying and safely removing system junk, cache files, and old clutter, giving you more room for what matters. Protection keeps your Mac safe from malware, adware, and vulnerabilities, quietly defending your system in the background so you can browse and work with confidence. Performance fine-tunes your system, optimizing memory and managing heavy processes, delivering a snappier, more responsive experience in just a click. Applications puts you in control of your software, letting you easily uninstall apps and manage extensions so your Mac stays organized and free of unnecessary bloat. My Clutter finds forgotten large files and duplicates, helping you quickly declutter and free up space without endless searching. Clean My Mac also features a menu app so that key system monitors are always at your fingertips, tracking disk space, memory, battery health, and more, so you're always in the know right from your menu bar. All these tools work together seamlessly, beautifully, to make your Mac feel brand new every day. Pricing is affordable, costing much less per month than that cup of coffee from your favorite barista. So give your Mac the care it deserves and try out Clean My Mac. Your Mac will love you for it. And use my links in the video description below to learn more. And so if you're wondering what this giant cheese grater is to my left, this is actually the M2 Ultra Mac Pro. It's been my dedicated video production machine. That's mostly what I've used it for. And so for video production, I love this because it has 60 cores in the GPU. If you want the most GPU cores, you're gonna go for the Ultra. The M3 Ultra is what was given to us as the next logical step. The real question is though, should you go to the Ultra chip or should you stay on the Max chip? And so I did get this machine for video production, but I thought it'd be interesting to compare this M2 Ultra machine to this M4 Max Mac Studio. So this M4 Max has 64 gigs of memory and two terabytes of SSD storage. And this one has 64 gigs of RAM also, but it has only one terabyte. And I noticed that I was running out of space in this one, which is why I bumped this up to two terabytes. And so the real question is, is going forward from here, which of these two machines am I gonna keep as my main video production machine? Because that's really my goal here is to find my next video production machine from this machine. In a lot of ways, I, I might just keep this machine because the expandability and the PCI slots are amazing. And for the price that I paid for this machine, it was actually a pretty good deal when I bought it. I did not pay retail for this and I never would pay retail for a Mac Pro Ultra machine. And so we will probably see a new Mac Pro at, at some point, maybe an M4 Ultra. I don't know what Apple's gonna do in that line of the Mac Pros, but the future is clear for the Mac Studio. And so that's why I really wanted to see what the Mac, the M4 Max chip can do against an M M2 Ultra. And a lot of tasks this this little box is actually faster than my beast, the M2 Ultra. It's faster than it in a lot of things because the single core performance in this machine is a lot faster than this. And so many apps that we use today 
and a lot of the apps I use for photography and graphic design only use the single core and so when you have that in an M4 Max chip this thing is going to be your best option. So I put these two awesome machines head to head to see how they compared with just raw horsepower. I did my normal test that I usually do which is importing A7R5 raw files into both machines from the SD card and letting Lightroom create the previews. This is a very intensive process and it, you can see it maxes out all the cores on the 28 core Mac Pro and all the cores on the Mac Studio, the M4 Max. And this is a great way to see just the raw horsepower of these two machines. And the other test I did too was letting the AI processing. So this is where I process one photo and then Lightroom executes that same batch to all the other photos in the deck and this is also a very intensive process and so it was interesting to see how these two awesome machines compared. I also did video export times and so you'll see in the coming graphic here some very interesting results where the Mac Studio was faster because it's using single core but in video export it's not faster because the M2 Ultra has all those GPU cores. The only time that the M2 Ultra was beating out the M4 Max was in anything related to GPU. And so if you're doing video production, you're gonna see a much better performance in the Ultra chip, which is why if you're a dedicated video and you're doing very complex 4K or 8K timelines with lots of motion graphics, lots of animations and stuff, then I would definitely recommend going the Ultra route. But for most of us, even me, most of my videos that I work on are, are not super complex. There could be a lot of layers to it, a lot of audio, and maybe a few effects, but nothing too crazy. I'm not getting too crazy in my videos with motion effects either. So I can actually accept the fact that the, the export times on this will be slower. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that because at the end of the day, most of the other things I do, photography related, graphic design related, will actually be faster on this. And so to have a machine that actually can do all of those things really fast, and then the only time you're gonna need it is when you're exporting, it's gonna be fine on the M4 Max Max Studio. Now, the one thing that I did notice too between these two machines is when I was scrubbing on the timeline, between this machine and this machine on the same video file, I did notice that this was smoother. And so that just comes down to the GPU cores. And so this one will have a lot more GPU cores. The Ultra machine, I'm using this as a placeholder for the M3 Ultra in this case, because I don't have an M3 Ultra, but the M3 Ultra will have more GPU cores. So if you're hardcore into video production or motion graphics, or AI LLM stuff, then you might potentially go to the M3 Ultra. Also because you can put 512 gigs of RAM into that M3 Ultra. So now you're able to load a local LLM, the whole thing into RAM. And so that's pretty sweet for all you AI people. But for me, I'm not into AI LLM stuff. I'm mostly video production and so for me, Looking at this machine, I am going to lose out on, like I said, the GPU count for video production, but I'm okay with waiting like two or three more minutes for my video to export, and I still have really overall fantastic performance wrapped up in a package that's actually very affordable considering the the amount of horsepower you're getting in this little machine right now in 2025. Right now, if you look at bang for buck, this is the best bang for buck right now if you're getting into a Mac and you want a Mac that can do everything. If you want to go up from there, this is the next best bang for buck. The M3 Ultra, I think for most of us mere mortals, even this M2 Ultra, I think for all of us, this is not the best bang for buck because guess what? Right now, I can't even freaking sell this thing. I'm putting ads on eBay and forums and all kinds of stuff and nobody wants this old Mac Pro. Why? Because the days of huge computing rigs where people are buying huge giant machines and filling it full of PCI slot drives and such, those days are over because if you really need that much storage, guess what? You can buy an M3 Ultra Mac Studio and put like 16 terabytes of storage in there. For $14,000. So those days are over. The days of the small form factor computer like the Mac Studio or the Mac Mini, 
this is the current state and this is the current place that we're at. And so what do I recommend for pretty much everybody if you're looking at a Mac Studio right now, I recommend a M4 Max and then spec it from there. The M4 Max, even the base model, is going to be a fantastic value and give you the best computing performance that you can handle. The only time I would go to the Ultra Chip is like I said, if you're into LLMs, if you're into 3D modeling, 3D game design, or really hardcore heavy video production where that all you do is hardcore video production, 8K, 4K timelines. If you're into that super high res raw footage that really needs to chew through GPU power, then you're gonna go to the Ultra Machine. That is my recommendation. Stay with the M4 Max, those are my thoughts. I'm at this point now where I'm probably gonna switch and move all of my content from here onto here and make this my main video editing machine and try my darndest to sell this thing. It's a beast but man, it's hard to resell these things too. So only get the ultra chip if you're really investing in the long term and you're like, this is gonna be my machine for five years. That would be a great investment right now is to go to the ultra machine if you really wanna invest in raw horsepower computing power because those M3 Ultra machines are like a big rig, you know, semi truck that can pull and haul so much, so much stuff for a long journey. Whereas these are more like a Ferrari that gets you those short bursts of crazy fast speed, but it can also chew and get you there to the destination and chew through all that data. Definitely recommend the M4 Max. Let me know in the comments down below which model of Mac Studio you're going to get. Are you going to get the M4 Max? Or are you going to get the M3 Ultra? Or are you just going to save a lot more Benjamins and just get this little Mac Mini and upgrade the SSD and stuff yourself? Because this little pancake hamburger guy is pretty awesome for what you spend. That's all I got today, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by for my quick thoughts on the M4 Max Mac Studio. I think I'm going to keep this guy and try my darndest to sell this giant beast boat anchor whatever we want to call it right now it's definitely not a boat anchor i mean it's still a freaking awesome machine the m2 ultra is no slouch please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you liked today's content and ring that bell to get notified when i drop new content and i'll see all of you guys on my next video